The fabulous thing about cooking with pulses, other than their obvious health benefits, is their low cost. They can feed and fill hungry tummies for very little money, which is what we all like. We're kicking off our pulses episode of the seriously delicious lentil and sweet potato veggie burgers. To make them, you're going to need sweet potato and brown lentils, chili, ground coriander and ground cumin, garlic and cucumber, red onion and lettuce, and for the cheat beetroot hummus, you're going to need pickled beetroot, chickpeas and garlic, and then some olive oil, tahini, cumin and lemon juice. I fear that many of you may not join me on the idea that a burger could be made of lentils and sweet potatoes, but I promise you, every now and then, skipping the mince is not such a bad idea. So I'm just going to heat the pan and chop up an onion. I'm using a red onion, mostly because they're sort of quite sweet and delicious. You don't need masses of onion. I am going to put the onion in a blender, but I'm only going to pulse it rather than sort of actually blend it. So I want to do a bit of the chopping already. So some lovely olive oil in a hot pan, and then one or two garlic cloves, but these are quite fat, I must say. Healthy garlic. So I'm just going to use one. That said, you know, things like lentils and sweet potatoes can be quite bland, so you can give them sort of lots of flavour, spices, garlic, chilli, all those sorts of things. That should be all right. Lovely. Strictly speaking, you don't have to fry this, so if time was very short, you could avoid it, but you are going to maximise the flavour and, well, we want lots of flavour. Well, that's frying away gently, and I'm going to put some spices in here. I'm going to use some cumin. Mm, two teaspoons or so, about a tablespoon of dried coriander. I'm just going to throw it in, that'll be fine. I think it's important to fry your spices. They're volatile oils, which means that they only really start to get their flavour when, when the oils are released. So here we are, some dried chilli flakes. You could put in fresh chilli if you like. That warm flavour is quite nice in this particular dish. Instead of using bread or egg or anything. I'm actually going to use sweet potato to help bind these patties together. Now, I've roasted the sweet potato. You could boil it, but then boil it in the skin, or you could microwave it. Basically, what you don't want to do is have too much liquid. So if you keep it in, your, in the skin, it'll be much easier. Just cut that open. So sort of one big one, and this is not too big, so I'm going to use sort of about that much, I reckon. We're going to put it all in a blender. Sweet potatoes are extraordinarily healthy. They're packed with a whole lot of vitamins, so Bs and Cs and Ds and everything, so really great for the immune system. They've also got lots and lots of fibre. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, they're one of those sort of superfoods. Just scrape that out, you don't want the skin. If you get the odd bit of skin, please don't worry about it. It'll all be whirred up together and we won't have to worry. Excellent, okay. Now, if I wasn't on television, I'd eat these skins, but I am, so I'll just toss them in the bin. I'm going to toss in the spices, beautiful warm flavours, and then, of course, difficult to make a lentil burger without the odd lentil. So I've cooked these and I've drained them quite well. So I'm going to use about, about a cup of lentils, some salt, a fair amount of salt, and then obviously some pepper. There we go. Grab the lid. So remember what I said, we're going to pulse it so that we don't end up with like a completely mushy affair. That'll do. I think that's absolutely fine. So back to the idea about pulses. Pulses are really the dried seeds of legumes. So kind of if you have a pea, it's a legume. It becomes, if you have a dried pea for your ham and pea soup, it's a pulse. I know that's slightly odd, but anyway, that's, that's kind of how the pulse legume thing works. Either way you look at it, they are pretty healthy, and lentils happen to be one of the healthier ones, mostly because they pack the highest protein punch. So, so while you may miss the mince, you're not actually missing the protein. Now, you can make these big or small. I'm going to do little elegant ones. It's the first time I've ever been elegant in my life, but I may as well start now. All right, now, what is vital in this situation is that you do pop all of this into the fridge. Anything that you're trying to create a patty or a little sort of burger from, they really do need to chill in order to get ready for cooking. I'm going to wash these hands and pop them in the fridge. Just pop that in the fridge, and while those are chilling, I thought perhaps whipping up a little beetroot hummus might be quite a nice idea, just to sort of maximise all things kind of pulse-like. we better do a little tidy up here because things have got slightly out of control. No surprises there. 
So, hummus. Chickpeas, really. Now, of course, you could just go and buy one. But then again, they're really simple to make. So just toss those in. I'm using canned chickpeas, but I mean, quite honestly, you can, you can boil your own, and that way you'll be using a lot less salt because they're canned in brine. Tahino, which is a sesame paste, which is just the answer to world tension. It's so delicious and so healthy. I'm gonna put some cumin in. Now, this is not strictly necessary in hummus. I wanna pop in a garlic clove. I'm just gonna toss it in just like that. Some pepper, some olive oil. So we've got um, some salt. I'm gonna add some lemon juice. Catch the pips in your hand if you can. I love these little lemons, they're perfect for my hands. Now that would essentially be that if you were making an ordinary hummus, but we're no ordinary folk, as you well know. So beetroot, and listen, you could just boil some, but then again, life is short and you could just take it out of a bottle. And then it also adds a sort of, quite a little piquancy, a little bit of a, you know, acidity that's quite nice. But it's up to you if you'd prefer to just boil your own beetroot, knock yourself out. And then whir, whir away. And it turns out pink, which is completely divine. Beautiful, pink and perfect. If you want a little bit thinner, you can add some water, which I had on standby, or even some beetroot juice. It's really, I suppose, kind of up to you. Just gonna pop this into a bowl. And it makes quite a hefty amount, which is good. Right, we'll pop that over there. And put the pan on to fry the patties. Liberal amount of olive oil. Go. Okay. So now we're going to get on to the sort of burgery bit. For which clearly I need rolls, some cucumbers, some lettuce. I've got my beautiful hummus. So I'm going to use Portuguese rolls, but if you want to use ordinary hamburger rolls, do that. Or if you feel like you've got enough carbs, then skip the rolls altogether and simply have lentil patties. Right, so we'll just pop them into the pan. Now, don't crowd the pan because they're very difficult to turn then and also things don't cook evenly. I'm talking of cooking, they are actually cooked. So what you're really doing is just heating them through and they're not going to get an enormous crust, so sort of don't get carried away on that. But while that's doing its thing, I think a cucumber ribbon might be quite nice. So quite nice sort of hefty ribbon. So this is quite a friendly meal. Perfect. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. Oh, how marvellous. The longer you sort of leave them in the fridge, the, the sort of firmer they'll get, but they're not gonna fall apart. So whatever you do, don't panic. Then we're going to just slice a roll open. You could put some butter on here, but I just don't feel like it's a very buttery meal. So we're just gonna just put a little bit of olive oil as we can. And get a plate and see. Gee, we have a riot of colour going on. Okay. Maybe the odd little leaf. These are lovely little baby cost lettuce leaves. And a nice large burger patty. And then a marvellous pink affair. And then if you've got a few coriander leaves, those might be quite nice. Otherwise, I can't even bear to put a lid on, but I suppose if I wanted to, I could. Enjoy. These veggie burgers are not only enormously nutritious, they're also completely gorgeous to look at. Meat-free Mondays are sorted, and even the carnivores will be happy.